receives its praise in the Garden of Olives. He went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him, and being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? he asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up, and a man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. Communal Prayer Help us realize, O God, that Jesus dreaded his death just as we dread the dyings of our everyday lives. Help us see how we have sometimes betrayed our true calling, and in so doing also betrayed Christ. Amen. Hello Church, it is an honor to be here with you today. My name is Fernando Cruz. Jesus is denied by Peter. Proclamation of the Word, a reading from the Gospel of Luke, Luke 22, 54 through 62. And the Word of God says, Then seizing him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed at a distance. But when they had kindled the fire in the middle of the courtyard, sat down together, Peter sat down with them. A servant girl saw him seated there in the firelight. She looked closely at him and said, This man was with him, but he denied it. Woman, I don't know him, he said. A little later, someone else saw him and said, You also are one of them. Man, I am not, Peter replied. About an hour later, another asserted, Certainly, this fellow was with him, for he is a Galilean. Peter replied, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Just as he was speaking, the rooster crowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the words the Lord had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows today, you will disown me three times went outside and wept bitter. Communal prayer. Denial comes easily to our lips, God. We admit the times we have denied your presence in the world by denying the truth of your love. Too often we have remained silent when we could have witnessed to others about the grace we have received. We pray for all those whom we have hurt and offer forgiveness 
to all who have heard us. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people came to the decision to put Jesus to death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Yes, it is as you say, Jesus replied. When he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate asked him, Don't you hear the testimony they are bringing against you? But Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge, to the great amazement of the governor. Now it was the governor's custom at the feast to release a prisoner chosen by the crowd. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? asked the governor. They answered, Barabbas. What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called Christ? Pilate asked. They all answered, Crucify him. Why? What crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they all shouted all the louder, Crucify him. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that instead an uproar was starting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood, he said. It is your responsibility. All the people answered, Let his blood be on us and our children. Then he released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. O God, we pray for insight so we can see the powers of darkness working in our lives. Every unjust act towards the lost, the defenseless, the poor, those who are different from us, is a judgment. We now take all that is not loving within and among us and offer it to you. Transform us and use us to your glory. Amen. For by your cross you have redeemed the world. A large number of people followed him, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep. For me, weep for yourselves and for your children. For the time will come when you will say, Blessed are the barren the wounds that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things when the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry?
Lord Christ, even in agony yourself, you showed compassion for others. Let our tears flow as we recognize the injustice of our world. Help us to be less selfish, more caring, and faithful to the end, like the women of Jerusalem. Amen. Jesus is crucified. Mark 15, 17 through 26. The soldiers put a purple robe on Jesus, then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him. And they began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews. Again and again, they struck him on the head with a staff and spit on him. Falling on their knees, they paid homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. A certain man from Serene, Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing by on his way in from the country, and they forced him to carry the cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Then they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it, and they crucified him. Dividing up his clothes, they cast lots to see what each would get. It was the third hour when they crucified him. The written notice of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. Holy Jesus, how can we understand the feelings of crucifixion? We ourselves have never been held up, arms outstretched and vulnerable, a spectacle for all to see, publicly ridiculed. Give us the courage to boldly speak your name and live our lives as witnesses to your love. Amen. Jesus promises to share his reign with the repentant thief. <laughs> Proclamation of the Word Luke chapter 23 verses 32 through 34a and 39 through 43. Two other men, both criminals, were also led out with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, there they crucified him along with the criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God? He said, Since you're under the same sentence, we were punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise communal prayer 
Accepting forgiveness is often difficult, Lord. Forgiveness, freely given, goes against our nature. We enjoy wallowing in our sins. We like to hold our sins against ourselves and others. Wash us clean in your blood and enlighten our hearts to accept your grace. Jesus dies on the cross. At the sixth hour, darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus heard his cry and saw how he died, he said, Surely this man was the Son of God. The Tomb We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, for by your cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 19. Now it was a day of preparation, and the next day was to be a special Sabbath. Because the Jews did not want the bodies left on the crosses during the Sabbath, they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. The soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus, and then those of the other. But when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. He was accompanied by Nicodemus. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in strips of linen. This was in accordance with the Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Because it was a Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Let us pause here to allow the death of Jesus to enter deeply into our consciousness, for we also enter into the death of the Lord. Lord, in our world of death, you chose to die to ransom us from our deaths. We don't understand such love, yet we bow to it, we bow before it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Amen. Love so amazing and so divine demands my life, my love, my all. 
May the life-giving cross be our source of peace. Go in peace. Amen.